One year ago, the Montreal Canadiens disappointed and angered their fans by passing up a generational Russian talent, a talent in the deepest draft in NHL history. They had their concerns about Michkov's two-way game and were uncomfortable with the fact that they had no control over his development for seemingly three years. But earlier this month, their decision came under a microscope again as Ska terminated Michkov's contract. They did this on compassionate grounds to allow him to join the Flyers, who hit an absolute home run at 7th overall. This year, Kent Hughes and his management team were looking to hit a home run of their own. Their best prospects are defensemen, Hudson and Reinbacher, and a goaltender, Jacob Fowler. So a dynamic, game-breaking forward was their number one priority. A day prior to the draft, they met with three forward prospects, Caden Lindstrom, Cole Iserman, and Ivan Demidoff. It was clear that they had their sights on Demidoff, but the question was, will he drop to number 5? Almost every agency had him ranked at number 2, but there were a few factors working against him. His level of competition, his skating, and the fact that he is a winger. Although, it seems like him being a winger worked out in the Habs' favor. Chicago had an organizational need at defense and took Levshin off. Anaheim then went way off the board and took Seneca. No, not the philosopher, Beckett Seneca. So it was really up to the Columbus Blue Jackets, who have the third strongest prospect pool according to The Athletic. Two of their top prospects are defensemen, Juracek and Matichuk. Try to say that five times in a row fast. So a game-breaking forward made sense for Columbus. Every single mock draft I checked had them taking either Lindstrom or Demidoff, meaning the Habs' chances of landing Demidoff were roughly 50-50. And then Columbus made their pick, Lindstrom. Habs fans collectively held their breath. Is Hughes going to follow the same strategy as last year? Is he going to pass up on a scaled rushing gamebreaker? Well, he didn't get the chance because Celine Dion made the selection for him. Now, obviously they told her who to pick, and when she announced Demidoff's name, you would think that the Habs had just selected Macklin Celebrini himself. Fans went wild. They are known for having the best reactions at the draft, and they did not disappoint. You could hear the cheers from Montreal all the way to Vancouver tonight. But why are they so excited? Well, they got incredible value at 5th overall. I mentioned earlier that Demidoff was ranked 2nd by almost everyone. Jay Fresh has his likelihood of becoming an NHLer at 99%, and his odds of becoming a star at 93%. His offensive toolkit is NHL ready. According to Hockey Prospecting, his NHL equivalency for points this season is already at 57. Montreal has an absolute weapon on their hands, and still hold on to another pick in the 1st. Damidoff is a lefty, but is listed as a right winger. He can slide in beside Slavkovsky and Suzuki, or Alexander Newhook. If they decide to move Doc back to center, that could be a formidable pairing as well. Let's continue this conversation down in the comment section. Did the Habs make the right pick? Would you have taken Damidoff or Lindstrom? Until next time, cheers.